Ah, summer vacation. The best time to travel as everybody else has the same exact thought. Today we're exploring Cologne, or better known as Köln. It is the fourth largest city in Germany. It is well known for their carnivals, gay pride and the giant cathedral that is constantly under reconstruction. Day one. It was a great sunny day, almost too good to be true. And it was because it started raining. But after 15 minutes it was fine again and everything seemed okay. Just before the rain came back. And as I was thinking about the state of my bladder, the clouds started parting ways and when we saw that there are no happy cars allowed, we knew that we have arrived to the city. After luckily finding our parking spot, we have successfully found our two-day shelter that has been borrowed from our friend's sister's godfather. They were away on vacation. Very kind of them. The place looked too modern and rich for a poor recently graduated student like me. Ow. And the owners have a pet turtle roaming around somewhere, so I will find it and befriend it. After a good pee, there was no time to waste, so the adventure began. After admiring this beautiful leopard, we were headed to the bus station. And we took the first bus looking like vehicle that we saw. After a long ride, we have realized that we have arrived at the central station right where the giant cathedral is located. Oh, but the first thing we needed to do... Oh, what's this? Ooh, so magical. And so expensive, oh my god. And yet, I couldn't resist. Where were we? Ah, yes. The first thing on the list is food. And what better way to get to know the city than going to Burger King? It was time to try the Beyond Meat Burger or the Impossible Whopper. Does it taste good or not? After receiving our Burger King certificate, I went undercover as a German and have successfully taken our food. And it was time to give it a taste. I would say a 7 out of 10. After a healthy dose of fries, burgers and milkshakes, we went further. We discovered a lake and we were greeted by a lovely gentleman who encouraged us to cross the bridge. And cross the bridge we did. We saw many, oh so many locks. But alas, we had no keys to open them. Next to the bridge there were two crows preparing for the international diving championship. And finally we are on the other side with a beautiful view and big stairs to sit on. So it was enough enjoying sitting on the stairs. And it was time to go shopping, or at least look at nice things. Some booby mugs, a dancing toilet paper man. We were careful not to have a heart attack while being in the stores and trying out some shoes. I guess you're not Rapunzel, oh or the other God. one. This is not my size, this is 35. <laughs> now it was time to head home. We knew exactly how to go home, as the murals of graffiti guided us there. Time to find some food. What's great about being on a budget is that you get to explore multiple stores and find what you need. Did I say great? I mean kinda annoying. So if you don't find the right thing you're looking for, you go to the next store. And then the next one. And then the next one. Until the grocery list is complete. You could tell the difference between the stores by walking in. But the discounts stay great either way. And with all the walking, we ended up with a white person's attempt at a curry. It was okay. It is the next morning and there's just one thing on my mind. Breakfast. So I was determined to get something from a nearby bakery. One of my ultimate weaknesses. How can someone resist such a beauty? It smells so welcoming and friendly and looks so beautiful. And nothing beats sugary carbs for breakfast down by a cup of cappuccino. Anyways, another tram ride awaits to the one and only chocolate museum. At the entrance, we were kindly served a tiny piece of chocolate and the museum paper guide, as the tour guide was too busy and didn't answer our calls. Here you can witness chocolates in its many stages, shapes and forms. And now I believe I'm an expert at chocolate, as this quiz suggests. Well done, you've put all the powder and coconut on the right side. Well, that's the deal. Peep and see which ingredients were instead of cocoa. That's okay. I mean... Oh, hmm. Interesting. I mean, they had to cut the corners somehow. After looking at animations and standing in multiple lines, we finally got to the most exciting part, the production of chocolate.
we did not get the chocolates. But no worries, there's an amazing looking chocolate fountain right next to the machines. Out of order? God damn it. Then there was even more chocolate to look at. And in the end of our journey, we were blessed with the tiny pieces of chocolates from the machine. But this is not enough chocolate. I needed more. And more. And more. Ah, much better. After some walking, fountain observing, and witnessing a wedding, the sugar rush crashed down and we were hungry. So we closed our eyes and the smell of worst and pumice led us to this small place where we had lunch. <laughs> it was enough exploring for today, so we headed home. And to end off this trip on a high note, we were determined to make friends with the turtle. And the way to a turtle's heart is through its stomach. This concludes the two-day trip to Cologne. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. Or at least the turtle footage. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.